Why wait to start your business after uni when the best time is now? Join the Entrepreneur Society for the opportunity to learn from industry experts about generating ideas, funding and becoming an entrepreneur. With networking events, guest speakers and workshops, build your entrepreneurial mind with us. For upcoming events, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at MDX Entrepreneurs. So you're live with Ash Khalifa on the MDX Entrepreneur Show on MDX FM. So we have our show every week, Wednesday from 5 till 7. And today we have a special guest visiting us. We have uh, an alumni and a recent graduate from Middlesex. His name is Vinny. Hello everybody, my name is Vinny, as Ashraf has just said, Vinny Mombode, and uh, yes, I'm an alumni, grad, postgraduate from a Masters in International Relations here at the school, and as we've discussed earlier, I am now training to be a journalist at a college called News Associates. If any of you are interested in having a look at the course, just find out on their website and internet, uh, Explorer or whatever you use, uh, find, you'll find out information about the courses that News Associates offers on there. Um, so yeah. Perfect. Um, and as we always do on the MDX Entrepreneur Show, we have a different Sudanpreneur personality to profile. So this week we chose to do Ulad Ahmed Diab um, for her awesomeness and for inspiring me um, a lot with um, with Sudan Hub and with Sudanpreneur um, and basically her talents um i have no end she's always coming up with interesting new awesome initiatives and i'm just going to read from her blog before we have a brief uh, discussion about it um so from her blog i'm a person who uses writing as a way to express who i am and what i believe in i believe in the power words of, although i might not be great at using them but practice makes perfect most importantly, I use writing as a way to tell the stories that are not being told. If they are then told, I want to tell them differently. I love writing about social issues and human interest stories rather than political, business, or economical stories, although they play a major role in journalism. I graduated from Northeastern University in Qatar with a bachelor's degree in journalism with a concentration in African and Middle Eastern studies. Today, I work for one of Qatar's oldest print magazine and leading information guide, Marhaba Information Guide. However, I hope that I will be returning to Sudan soon where my skills will have real impact. Many people ask me, why do you want to go back? There's nothing there for you. But I say, it's my home. That's always, there's always something there for me. It's a place where my skills can have real impact. I have mostly reported in Qatar where I've been living since 1994, but I have also been... Uh, I also have experience reporting in Turkey, the United States, in New Orleans and Chicago, and in Sudan. Sudan so far has been the toughest place I've ever had to report in. My work has been published on Qatar Today, a print magazine, Campus, a print magazine, Glam, a print magazine, Qatar Happening, a print magazine, Qatar Visitor, which is online, and Content That Works, which is both online and print, and this is in Chicago and the United States and many others. I have interviewed well, well-known well figures such as singer Sami Youssef, photojournalist Reza Dagati, Glenn Leonard from The Temptations, Khalid Graffiti artist El Seed, and archaeologists Charles Bonnet and, Steph- and Stephen Wang, and many more. My documentary, The Unveiled, which I've directed and produced with a colleague, has won third place in Women's Voices. Now, Film Festival in California in the U.S. in 2011. I'm using this blog to display my work as a journalist, writer, and documentary filmmaker. Her blog is called urladiab.com. Um, so, very, very impressive young woman. And don't forget to uh, follow the Twitter page at Sudan-Voices. Yes, um, so she created um, Sudan Voices, which is another one of her initiatives. Um, so that is a Twitter account which she gives to different people to curate for a week to talk about different issues and this sort of allows um because you know sudanese twitter is quite a big thing uh, we mm-hmm. have quite a quite a big presence and uh, to be honest i'm not really big on it but um i have actually um taken over her account uh and curated it for, um, on two occasions i think the first time i used my my personal in um, twitter account which is a khalifa 89 and then I think the second time I used my uh, Sudanpreneur account. 
Um, and also, she set up a magazine um, called 500 Word Magazine, which is a um, basically, as uh, as it says, um, articles of no less than or no more than 500 words. Um, and yeah, it's um, become quite popular. And the other thing I love about her um, work, especially with the 500 Word Magazine, is when she started, I believe um, Sudan was a united country, but... Um, since the separation um she still talks about both the north and south and that's um that's um yeah that's sort of my uh, my same beliefs as well um and um yeah so that's uh, that's ula um i uh, would like to thank you especially for uh, inspiring me and uh, motivating me and uh, you know giving me inspiration um especially with, with your blog article um you know profiling all the successful sudanese people that made it big um and uh yeah one day hopefully we'll both uh see both our names on that article inshallah once uh once it gets amended um, she, she's a great inspiration even to me as a journalist i mean in that field and what she's done in terms of the collaboration she's made in terms of the article she's yeah. done in terms of her interest in the in fact that she doesn't write on political economical uh, business it doesn't really sway her she has very very core appeal um that, that speaks to her heart from human interest pieces so it's it's one of those things that really inspires anyone to come into the field like people like that you look up to them and you say well you know uh some people in this world like that make the difference if you see what i mean oh yeah big time um on that note we are gonna play another song um so this one is called hippocampus bambi i believe yeah uh, yeah this is a the, shout out to uh my friend who uh who's now in uh, brazil he did sustainable development and global governance a master's in uh and he's uh in la i believe uh i could be wrong on that he's either in miami la or new york he's very international this person <laughs> so shout out to alex mosquito thank you very much and this is hippocampus bambi Writing's not that okay. Give me one minute and then we will play that song. Um, so basically, um, on that note, I'm gonna stop this recording and then start another one, um, so that we can post this one on Instagram. <laughs> 